Now we come to the proof of existence. So for that we use kind of Picard's iteration method. Uh, okay, so the iteration starts from zero. So y zero is the zeroth iteration. That is x zero. So for all t it is x zero. Just a constant random variable. Now we define iteratively the sequences. So we are actually producing a sequence of processes. Y zero is just a constant random variable y k plus 1 t is defined as x 0 plus integration 0 to t b a of s comma y k s d s plus integration 0 to t sigma s y k s d w s ok. So, this is the way we define. So, we define for k is equal to 1 first uh, there is a mistake uh, typo y t of k plus 1 huh? this is 1 not t. So, k is equal to 0 case. So, this is known because above it is there. So, we define y k plus 1 and then iteratively we define the whole sequence of processes. We would show that this processes, ok, this sequence is Cauchy in L2 lambda cross p. We must talk about because here a process is a function of omega and t together. So, there are two different independent variables t and omega. So, here it is a sequence of uh, we would show that is a sequence which lie in the L2 space of where measure is the product measure the Lebesgue measure lambda on the time interval and P is the probability measure. And then this sequence is Cauchy in this uh, Hilbert space L2 L, uh, lambda cross P ok. So, since it is a complete space, so when you would be able to show that this is a Cauchy sequence that would ensure existence of a limit and that limit uh, would be a candidate for the solution ok and then we would show that ok that candidate is indeed a solution. So, what we do is that y k plus 1 minus y k t expression of this whole square model this whole square this is. So, here we see from above. So, exactly you remember in the earlier how did you do here? ok. So, when we assume the existence and we are trying, trying to prove in uniqueness we had three different terms exactly here also when we write on y k plus 1 minus y k for y k t I would uh, again get x 0 plus 0 to in t integration b of s y k minus 1 s then left hand side is y k right hand side be y k minus 1 would appear. So, those terms would be there. So, y k plus 1 minus y k at time t this difference can be written as three different differences, but x 0 and there also x 0 would cancel. So, two different differences would survive. So, from this difference again going to apply the Ito's isometry and for this difference again we are going to apply Helder's inequality to obtain again exactly the similar manner three times 1 plus capital T d square integration 0 to t expectation of y k s minus y k minus 1 is whole square d s ok. So, this we would get for all t 0 to capital T and k for all k we are going to get this. So, this iterative scheme we would uh, require again and again. So, for our ease of reference we are going to call that star ok. So, whenever we would like to recollect this equation we would call that star ok. So, next what we do is that we start with say k is equal to 0 case ok. So, here we see that uh, you have this expectation this k plus 1 minus k here k and k minus 1, but here some integration is also there ok. So, here when we uh, substitute k is equal to 0 here. So, he, here we would get I mean y 0 is x 0 and uh, here say y minus 1 I mean that is nothing is 0 I mean we did not define anything that we assume to be 0 here. Okay. So, here for k is equal to 0 expectation of y 1 t minus y 0 t whole square. So, this whole square is what y 1 t is from here x 0 plus uh, in uh, 0 to t uh, b x 0 d s plus 0 to t sigma s x 0 d w s but y 1 minus y 0 would be just sum of these two terms. 
So, 0 to T B of S x 0 okay, D S okay, plus 0 to T sigma S x 0 D W S and then whole square and we are taking, taking expectation. Okay. So, here this is a random variable which depends only on x0, here this is a stochastic integration which depends on x0 and round motion. However, this sigma since it is at most linear growth we what we have obtained there, so it is bounded for t, let us uh, revisit here. So, here we have obtained this. So, when this x is not changing, so it is basically bounded. So, sigma 0 to capital T will really be bounded if you fix x and that is the reason that. So, this part okay, would be a just a bounded random variable, fixed random variable, okay. I mean, but s is changing. Okay. So, it is like a stochastic process, but the sigma is bounded because this part is fixed, bounded by c basically. Okay, c times 1 plus mod of x naught. So, then it is a martingale part. So, then expectation of this uh, zero expectation. So, expectation of uh, this random variable multiplied with uh, this uh, 0 to t is this part. Okay. So, that expectation, the product, we can take conditioning with respect to the filtrations that generated by x 0 then this part would come out of that uh, inside conditional expectation and then we are going to live with expectation of this term which would be 0. Okay. So, that is the way we can establish that this is less than or equal to this sum of these two terms, the only square terms would appear, the cross term would not appear at this stage and here next we get that uh, this term we are going to use exactly as before the Helder, uh, the, no not as before here what we are using we are using the at most linear growth of the function b here also we are using at most linear growth of the function sigma. So, here b is less than or equals to dominated by uh, affine linear function c times 1 plus mod x naught because y naught s is exactly x naught for each and every s and here this sigma would be replaced by s c square times 1 plus mod x naught whole square. Ds. So, here at this stage we could avoid the square of the integration. So, this square is inside now integration here. Okay, so, here again uh, we are going to use uh, that c square is outside. So, we are going to use Helder's inequality to get t square times 1 plus mod x not whole square and here c square times 1 plus mod x not whole square t. So, 1 plus mod x not whole square is common here. Okay, so, that we can further write down 1 plus expectation mod x naught square times 2, but this c square is already there and this t square and t together is t plus t square and then this term here from that we are going to take small t common, what remain is 1 plus small t that we are going to dominate by 1 plus capital T. So, you are going to get 2 c square 1 plus capital T into 1 plus expectation x naught square times small t. This whole quantity which is independent of small t we are going to call as a1 this parameter. Now, we define a2, a2 is 3 times 1 plus capital T times maximum of c square d square 1 plus expectation of x naught square that we consider. Why do we consider this? Because uh, this is coming from exactly as before earlier. So, we had obtained this equation in the 10th bullet that uh, y k plus 1 minus y k whole square 3 times 1 plus d square and here we have c square etcetera. So, to get uh, together everything, so we are taking you know maximum of these things. Okay. So, when we uh, obtain a2 this way, then we can write down one particular inequality which works for all k starting from 0. Okay. Remember earlier we had this for k is equal to 1 or more than 1, but now here I can write down using this thing. Here we can write down k is equal to 0 onward that this condition holds. So, this condition is very nice looking because here say whatever I have on my left hand side, I have on the right hand side also, but instead of k plus 1, I have k, instead of k, I have k minus 1. Okay. So, here we can now use induction. 
So, again here also we can replace by you know the k minus 1, k minus 2, etc. But then integration, there will be so many different integration would come. So, here we would get k different integrations, okay. And if we perform that, we would get t to the power of k plus 1 by k plus 1 factorial and a2 to the power of k plus 1. So, every time we are going to replace that inductively, we are going to get this quantity as our upper bound. So, this is really helpful because this is going to say that okay, uh, this whole quantity is like you know some pollen, I mean bounded by some polynomial in t. Okay. On the other hand, small t is bounded by 0 to capital T. Right. So, now we consider y m minus y n. So, what is this? The m and nth element of this. So, this term also this is important to uh, note that this term also appears in the expansion of the ex exponential function. So, this is general k plus 1 th term of exponential function a 2 t e to the power of a 2 t correct. So, and that series converges. So, we are going to use that fact here at this stage. So, norm of L 2 norm of y m minus y n is equal to here that we can write down as a telescopic sum like you know m I choose here more than uh, n ok. So, y m minus y you can write y m minus y minus 1, y m minus 1 minus y m minus 2 etcetera etcetera till y n plus 1 minus y n. So, that way. So, that way we have written telescopic sum and then that is less than or equals to sum of norms. So, norm of sum is less than to sum of norms triangular inequality and then we are writing down this norm in its full form that expectation of this integration of the square of the difference and then outside square root. And this is the place where we are using the above obtained upper bound a 2 to the power of k plus 1 t to the k plus 1 by k plus 1 factorial here we are using it and then we just perform the integration when you do that we get t to the power of k plus 2 by k plus 2, but k plus 2 and k plus 1 factorial would give us k plus 2 factorial. So, you would get this ok. So, this term is you know just 1 over a 2 you can have then a 2 to the k plus 1 also k plus 2 would also appear. So, this term would converse to 0 correct because as you know this sum we know as n and m tends to infinity this would go to 0. So, what we have obtained? we have obtained that y k is cosh in L 2 lambda cross p because uh, there y m y minus y in the distance the norm goes to 0 as m in turns to infinity ok. So, since it is cauchy sequence, so it has some limit. So, this L 2 limit in this space we call that as x. So, this x is our candidate solution of the equation.